Hi guys! There are so many creatures in the world and they have so many different names. Even though there is a scientific name, there are some that became a terrible name when it is made a Japanese name. Today, we are going to introduce you to a creature with such an unfortunate name. Ukkari Kasago Translate directly, carelessly scorpion fish. This Ukkari Kasago is so similar to a scorpion fish that it could be mistaken for a scorpion fish by accident. The Japanese word Ukkari is carelessly in English. In the past, researchers studying Japanese fish thought it was a scorpion fish, so they didn't realize that it was a new species. That's why it's named Ukkari Kasago. Hadaka Deva Nezu Translate directly Naked projecting teeth ra. As the name implies, Hadaka Deva Nezu has no hair and its front teeth are bare. No longer is this name just swear word. Ojisan Translate directly Uncle or Aging Man. Regardless of gender, there is a fish named Ojisan. It was named Ojisan because he has a beard and looks like an old man when viewed from the front. Ojisan is a disrespectful word for an aging man. Incidentally, there is also a female Ojisan. In Japanese, it would be Obasan, which means aunt or aging women. Baba Translate directly, old badlucks. Everyone would think that if there's an old man, there's an obasan. Unfortunately, it was not. Baba is a more rude name than obasan. It is a kind of deep sea fish called Tanaka Genge, but for some reason, it is called this name in Shimane and Tottori prefectures. Internet Umiushi Translate directly, Internet Sea Slug. Internet Umiushi are sea slug that live in Okinawa, Japan. It was named Internet Umiushi because the pattern on its body looks like a diagram of the internet. Of course, this sea slug doesn't have a web connection, nor does it support Wi-Fi. Irezumi Konyaku Aji Translate directly, Tattoo Konyak Horse Makera Tattoos are scary image. A konyaku is a soft image. It has tattoo-like spots on its body, and its body is soft-like konyaku, which is why it's called irezumi konyaku aji. Shonben tare. Translate directly, person who wets his or her pants. Shonben tare is a nickname for fish called a takanohadai. Takanohadai has come to be known as shonben tare because it smells of ammonia. The term shonben tare is a dirty word which refers to a person who wets his or her pants. A fish called Kaiposas beginsas is called a unko tare. They are called unko tare because when they are caught, they are shocked and release out of poop. Hairegu adegairu Translate directly, high costume wear, charming frog. Hairegu adegairu is a frog that lives on the island of Madagascar. They are called Hairegu adegairu because they have a pattern of their body that looks like they are wearing a high cut swim wear. Toge ari toge nashi toge toge. Translate directly, having a pig of not having a pig spiky. The Japanese word ari means to exist and nashi means to not exist. It is an insect with a name that makes you want to ask whether it has a song or not. Explain their origins. The first word insects called toge toge with songs on their bodies. Next, a known song species was discovered among toge toge and it came to be called toge nashi toge toge. In addition, a thorny one was found among toge nashi toge toge. So it became toge ari toge nashi toge toge. In other words, toge ari toge nashi toge toge have songs. Tori no fundamashi. 
translate directly. This is trick of bird. Tori no fundamashi is a species of spider. It's called Tori no fundamashi because, as the name suggests, it looks like bird droppings. Kubi kiri girisu. Translate directly. Fired grasshopper. Kubi kiri girisu is a type of grasshopper with a terrible name. Kubi kiri girisu has strong bite, so if you pull its body when it is bitten, Kubi kiri girisu's head may come off. That's why they are called Kubi kiri girisu. Sube sube kebuka gani. Translate directly. Hairlessness hairy crab. Sube sube is an onomatopoeia which means hairless or smooth. It's hard to tell whether the crab is hairless or hairy. Among the hairy crabs called kebuka gani. The one with a sleepy body is called sube sube kebuka gani. Therefore, sube sube kebuka gani is sleepy and not hairy. Sube sube manju gani. Translate directly. Hairlessness manju crab. The name sube sube manju gani comes from its appearance. Its body is round and slippery like manju, which is why it was named sube sube manju gani. Incidentally, sube sube manju gani is poisonous and cannot be eaten. Baka matsutake. Translate directly. Stupid matsutake mushroom. This mushroom is similar to matsutake mushroom. The matsutake mushroom is a mushroom that grows in a pine forest, but baka matsutake grows in a thicket, so it was called a stupid because it was growing in the wrong place. Baka matsutake is named Torikoroma baka matsutake by the scientific name, which is official name in international and academic circles as well as Japanese name. Kanoomo bikkuri mitoki wa nido bikkuri sasakiri moroki. Translate directly. Possible also surprise see, sometimes twice surprise grasshopper. It's a Japanese insect with a name that no longer makes any sense. Perhaps the person who discovered it was surprised twice, so he gave it this name. By the way, it is the name of the longest insect in Japan. What did you think of it? There are many things with unfortunate names when it comes to Japanese names. If you have a creature with such a strange name in your country, please let me know. Please subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Bye!